Hi, I'm John Cresswell. Let me introduce you to the Victrix Tormentum 375 Shaytac sniper rifle. Firstly, I will prove this rifle clear. Then I will go through all the features and specifications of the rifle. I will demonstrate everything you need to know as an operator so that you can adjust, maintain and operate this rifle. In this video, I will cover safety. I will talk a bit about the Victrix Tormentum. I will run through the features and specifications, the controls of the rifle, user adjustments. We will field strip and reassemble the rifle. We will talk about routine maintenance. I will then demonstrate the function checks. When we then get down on the range, we will load it, fire it, and then unload it. And at the end of the video, I'll go through my final thoughts. The rifle comes complete as standard with a military spec Explorer hard case for safe transport. Let's take a look inside the case. Inside the case, we've got a magazine. We've got the rifle itself. We've got a bipod. And some spare bipod feet. In this box, we've got a small accessory rail, rail to go onto the M-Lock Rome Signum suppressor. Underneath the rifle itself, we've got a Victrix armament pouch. Operation manual, Victrix notebook, Victrix lanyard, Victrix pen, and also there is the tool. Uh, this is to help you take apart the bolt, Victrix patch, and then there's a number of stickers as well, and also a lens cleaning cloth. Remember that all firearms have lethal potential, and you should always follow the basic safety rules before using your firearm. In addition to the basic safety rules, there are other safety rules that you must be aware of when loading, unloading, disassembling, assembling and using this rifle. This video should be used in conjunction with the operator's manual supplied with the rifle. It is not a substitute for you reading and understanding the manual for yourself. So let's prove this rifle clear. Ensure that the muzzle of the rifle is pointed in a safe direction at all times when you're unloading and clearing the firearm. Engage the safety catch by moving the safety lever to the rear. Ensure the magazine is removed from the rifle. If the magazine is inserted, remove the magazine from the rifle by pressing the magazine release and pulling the magazine out. Lift the bolt handle and pull the bolt assembly to the rear. Visually and physically inspect the chamber, the body, and ensure the magazine is removed. We now know that this rifle is clear. The Victrix Tormentum is the rifle that's chosen by expert shooters and military special forces to get extreme distances. It is available in two calibers, 375 Shaytac and 408 Shaytac. These caliber bullets enable the shooter to reach extreme long range with maximum hit probability. The 375 Shaytac round is extremely capable and will give you between 25 and 30% more range than a NATO standard 338 round. The Tormentum rifle is capable of efficiently engaging targets out to 2000 meters using 350 to 400 grain bullets with high levels of predictability and accuracy. It will shoot further, however, for the maximum hit probability you should operate the rifle within the two kilometer effective range. When you look and handle the Victrix rifle, the quality of manufacture and machining is extremely apparent. Features and specifications. This rifle is designed for law enforcement, military and sporting use. Chambered in 375 Shaytac. It has a 30 inch benchmark lapped and fluted match grade rifled barrel in AISI 416R with a 1 in 10 twist, giving you an effective range of up to 2 kilometres. 
The bear rifle weighs 11.5 kilos, which is 25.35 pounds, with an empty magazine, muzzle brake, fluted 30 inch barrel, and no scope. Every alloy component is hard black anodized to 30 microns. The rifle is Cerakoted in dark gray in ceramic polymer, but it's also available in olive drab green and medium flat brown. The bolt is a fluted CT three lug bolt action in AISI 630 stainless steel. The bolt is finished in a physical vapor deposition PVD coating to improve the appearance, durability and function of the action. The action is milled and grinded in AISI 420 billet with the bolt with three symmetric lugs. First lug at the bottom of the cylinder in the vertical position at six o'clock. Two side lugs arranged at an angle of 120 degrees. Dirt and eye screws are an integral part of the action. The magazine is a single feed, single stack, seven round magazine. The Vitrix Professional Plus trigger has two position top safety. It is also a selectable dual or single stage trigger and has an adjustable pull weight on both stages. The trigger is manufactured from aluminium, carbon steel and stainless steel. The detachable muzzle brake features three forward canted chambers on an M24 by one thread. The buttstock has a retractable monopod with quick positioning adjustment and fine adjustment and an insulated cheek piece. The cheek piece has 60 millimeters of vertical adjustment and the length of pull has 60 millimeters of horizontal adjustment. The rifle comes with a reversible Evo folding stock and button folding system. The grip is interchangeable with standard AR platform compatible grips. The octagonal elliptic forend has an M-lock system and an integrated 45 MOA top rail. This rifle is fitted with a detachable multifunction carry handle that's made from light aluminium alloy 6082. The handle has a number of QD mounts along the bottom, an integrated hook for rope attachment, a tripod attachment with a quarter inch 20 UNC and 3 8 inch 16 UNC threads. With the muzzle brake and the 30 inch fluted barrel, the open overall length of this rifle is 1447 millimeters, which is 56.97 inches. With the stock closed, it folds down to 1201 millimeters, which is 47.28 inches. So starting off at the butt, we have a QD mount, then moving along, we have the bolt assembly. And on the back of the bolt assembly, we've got the red ring, which indicates that the bolt is cocked. When the bolt is forward and locked, the safety catch covers the red indicator. Then when it's forward, you can see the red indicator so that you know the, the rifle is live, it can fire. So safety catch, trigger, magazine release, and then we've got the multifunction carry handle. Turning the rifle around. On the left hand side of the rifle, we've got the comb height adjustment, the length of pull adjustment, QD mount again. We've got the monopod release button, the stock fold button, and the bolt release button. Folding and unfolding the stock. To fold the stock, run the bolt forwards and down. Press the stop lock button and rotate the stock to the folded position. To unfold the stock, pull the stock away from the rifle and fold the stock round till it locks in position. To adjust the comb height of the rifle, we're going to use the comb lock button. Assume a shooting position behind the rifle. Press the comb lock button with your thumb and then use the weight of your cheek and press down until you get a clear sight picture through the scope. When you've got a clear sight picture, 
Just make sure that the comb lock stop button is locked in place just by pushing down. To adjust the length of pull, we press the length of pull button. The spring loaded butt stock will move into place. So let's adjust the length of pull for me. So I'm gonna press the length of pull button and push the butt stock in. And then I'm going to grip the pistol grip. And what I want is I want the butt stock just to sit in the crook of my elbow. So I'm gonna press the button and then it will click into place. So that is about right for me. You can also adjust the butt pad on this rifle. Press the butt pad release button and then you can slide the butt pad up and down until you get the correct position. Make sure that it's locked into place. To remove the bolt on the rifle, lift the bolt handle and move the bolt towards the rear. You will need to fold the stock, so press the stock bolt button and move the stock out of the way. Pull the bolt fully to the rear, then press the bolt release button and then you can remove the bolt from the rifle. Once the bolt is removed, you can disassemble the bolt using the small pin that comes as part of your Victrix rifle kit. We turn the bolt head clockwise and that reveals this hole in the top of the bolt. You then place your pin into the hole and then you can unscrew the bolt. and then remove the firing pin. To refit the firing pin in the breech bolt assembly, we just reverse the process. So pick up the bolt, pick up the firing pin, and then we place that back into the bolt assembly. And then we just screw it up. Once it's in tight, we remove the pin and then we twist the top round until you hear the click so that it's in the cocked position. Refit the bolt with the ejector on the right hand side. And as you push it in, you'll see the bolt release catch lock into place. So push the bolt forward, move the stock back into its locked position. and that is the bolt refitted to the rifle. When you've refitted the bolt, you'll notice you have the red ring indicating that the firearm is cocked. So we need to decock the firearm, making sure that the firearm is empty and pointing in a safe direction. Move the safety catch onto fire and then squeeze the trigger. The rifle is now decocked. The rifle may be stored in this condition. Once you've reassembled the rifle, you need to go through some function checks just to make sure that it's functioning correctly. We make sure that we're using an empty magazine and that we've cleared the rifle before we do anything. Then we get our empty magazine and we fit the empty magazine. And then pull down on the magazine to make sure that the magazine catch works. We then run the bolt forwards and lock it into place. We should be able to see the red ring on the back of the bolt, which indicates that the rifle is cocked. Make sure the safety catch is still on safe so that it's in the rearward position and squeeze the trigger. Nothing should happen. This proves that the safety catch works. Turn the safety off, squeeze the trigger, and then the firearm fires. Run the bolt, safety on, and then squeeze the trigger. That just double checks to make sure that the safety catch is functioning correctly. Lastly, we want to make sure that the magazine catch works and that you can remove the magazine. So press the magazine catch and remove the magazine. That is your function checks done. Prior to shooting the Victrix rifle, you should make sure that you clean the barrel bore this also is a good way to make sure that the barrel is obstruction free.
Any obstruction in the bore of the rifle may result in damage to the rifle, injury or death of the shooter or persons nearby. Whenever you inspect the bore, make sure the rifle is not loaded, the chamber is empty and the magazine is removed. The aim of the break-in and cleaning procedure is to keep the barrel clean so that you get the highest degree of accuracy and repeatability out of your firearm. The break-in ensures that the surfaces are smooth and removes any micro imperfections in the inner barrel corners. An excessive deposit of copper drastically reduces accuracy when shooting. To break in the barrel, operate a one-shot, then clean routine for the first 10 rounds. Then fire four groups of five rounds, cleaning between each five rounds. Make sure you select the correct cleaning rod and cleaning accessory size. Always use a bore guide to protect the action, the chamber and the rifling when cleaning. When cleaning between each rounds or five round group, saturate a nylon bore brush with Bortec Eliminator. Pass it through the barrel from the receiver end through to the muzzle. Let the Bortec Eliminator soak in the barrel for a while. Attach a patch jag and some clean patches and then push them through the barrel until it's clean. Build quality and engineering of this rifle is second to none. This rifle has been manufactured with passion. Every component of this rifle is thoroughly checked throughout the process to ensure that it is perfect. This rifle is stunning. The, the looks, the angles, um, I, I really love it. I'm blown away uh, by how this rifle looks. You really need to see this to believe it. The other thing I have to talk about is the action on this rifle. This rifle is chambered in 375 Shaytac, so it's a really large round, but the action is so smooth. The bolt assembly is almost as thick as the barrel itself. It's not a pro or a con, uh, but I did just want to mention the weight of this rifle again. The weight of this rifle is 11 and a half kilos, so it does weigh considerably. However, you are shooting a large precision round. The weight is perfect for soaking up some of the recoil from this rifle, but also it's a factor of the build quality and engineering. These are some real solid parts, so the rifle is gonna weigh quite a bit more than the normal rifle. The only con I can think of for this rifle is the price. Uh, these rifles, they're around six and a half thousand euros uh, from, directly from the supplier. Um, so the rifle may be out of reach for some of us. We're in the UK, so there are, of course, shipping costs, taxes, custom fees. Uh, you have to get the rifle proofed, and then there are dealer's fees on top of that as well. This is a serious piece of engineering, so you should really expect to pay that kind of money for this kind of rifle. I hope you enjoyed the video. I am blown away by the precision build quality of this rifle, and it's been very interesting for me to find out more about the Victrix Tormentum and to spend some time with it on the range. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and also please drop me a comment, I will reply. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my latest content. Thank you for watching.